Welcome to At BCPS In Depth. I'm Jody Wicks. Have you been seeing a lot of interesting creations on the walls of your school hallways, local library, or even a neighborhood restaurant? Well, the visual arts are alive in Baltimore County as BCPS celebrates Youth Art Month. There are so many exhibits on display throughout the area, you're bound to find one in your community. Now let's check out what's on our show. Are you ready to get physical? More than 225 students tested their science knowledge during the annual Physics Olympics and Chemathon. Let's see how they met the challenges. Welcome to the 29th Games of the BCBS Physics Olympics. I hereby open these games. Today we're hosting the 29th Annual Physics Olympics and also the 8th Annual Chemathon for Baltimore County Public Schools. Students from around the county who come and compete in physics and chemistry challenges to demonstrate their knowledge and their competitive spirit. Ready? Go! The theme this year is Science is the Name of the Game. So students compete um, against the challenge for points. In each challenge, there is a winning team for the challenge, and then their points are added together at the end for a first, second, and third place prize for each the Physics Olympics and the Chemathon. This event is amazing. It's one of the major times you're actually going to get like all these different schools from all these different places together and do like hands-on physics. In the classroom, physics is a combination of labs and kind of like this upper level thinking. But here, we have kids like scrounging around with time limits, doing stuff, it's fun, building, repairing, and it just, it makes it all come together. It's one of the highlights of the year. I started physics this year, and I was told about the Physics Olympics, and it sounded really fun, so I figured I would get a friend and try out and see how it goes. I had a couple of returning students uh, who I got to teach for a second year, and they enjoyed it so much they came back, and they were kind of one of the cores for our really winning team and they kind of had an idea of what to expect, and also just that it's all about the experimentation. It's not all this theory you do ahead of time. It's you're there, let's figure this out, the situation, let's make it happen. Last year, I wasn't really even gonna do it until one of my friends, like, last minute asked me if I wanted to do it, and we showed up, and we just had a really good time. There is not a mouse to protect, but there is an egg. The egg drop's probably my favorite. I like building things, so that was really fun for me. First, they actually have to toss the egg back and forth six times, and each successful toss without breaking the egg, they get some points. Then they have eight minutes to build two devices that sit in here, and we raise this up and pull a pin and drop it. And so that's device A. Oh. Oh. Participating in these events definitely is just a great experience all around because you just get to practice what you know, which a lot of students don't really get to do outside of school. I really enjoyed all the events. I think working with my team, like we just worked well through all of them and we kept cool. One of the really fun ones, there was a bouncy ball where you, a uh, bouncy ball lab where we combined borax, glue, and water and we would test those to see how high they bounced. It was sort of just a fun uh, event, a little less rigorous or academic. Next year, the Chemathon shirts will have the colors for this school. And that's going to be white and maroon because it's Towson too. Yeah. Yeah. Feels really great. Towson in the Chemathon particularly has, uh, they had two wins before and now this is our third. So it's really exciting. I know my chemistry teacher, Mr. Gekko, takes a lot of pride in this. He has the trophies in his room. And it feels really great to be able to continue that. And, like represent the school well. In first place, and we're gonna have the same color shirts again next year. Towson three, congratulations. We want them to walk away with an appreciation for physics and for STEM and for chemistry and take that back to their school and spread the news that physics and science is relative, important, and fun. What a great event to get students working collaboratively. Now let's get revved up for a challenge of a different kind, self-driving cars. In honor of World Math Day, Texas Instruments STEM Squad visited 11 BCPS schools to help students experience math in a fun, interactive, and hands-on way. So we're 
excited to have Texas Instruments TI working with our students on coding. They're using the TI graphing calculator along with the TI and the Innovator Hub and the rover to help students learn how to code and actually move the rover through mazes as well as the 3D city. Uh, the STEM squad is literally helping hundreds of kids today go from being on, on the sidelines as um, curious observers to more active, confident participants in exploring STEM projects that involve things that matter and excite them, like robotic cars. Students learn to code robotic cars using math with the same technology and skills that leading engineers around the world are currently using to put self-driving cars on the road. On our calculator, we had to go to many different menus and find a code that we like to move our rover. And then we had to program them in a different series so that they could go through the maze. Left, how many degrees? 45. 45, that brings you about here. 90 will bring you, yeah, will bring you straight there. You can try that. Very nice. However, students did face challenges, yet most were able to overcome them with a bit of trial and error and perseverance. Well, we basically programmed a series of code into a calculator thing and Basically, we tried to parallel park, do all these mazes, move in a square, a whole lot of stuff. I like that we got to code stuff and try estimating the length you'd have to move and trying to estimate which direction to turn, how, what angles to turn it at. Texas Instruments encourages students to seek careers in STEM by bringing subjects like math and science to life. Well, the purpose of the program is to really um, encourage the students to be interested in STEM careers and to think beyond the typical professions that some students may consider. I did like it a lot because it was fun and it was challenging and uh, I would like to do it in my future because I feel like it would be a good job and it's pretty fun. Everyone was pretty excited to do it. I'm pretty sure everyone had a good time. These kids are, are the kids that are going to engineer the future. These are the kids that will be developing the next medical breakthrough or designing the next uh, self-driving car or finding one of the solutions to many of our uh, challenges with the environment. These kids are going to change the world. Wow, the future of self-driving cars is soon to become a reality. So, is your computer running a little slow or printer not working at school? Well, now there's help with the development of a student-run help desk. Do you ever wonder who repairs broken devices? What happens to those tickets you turn in? The CTE office of BCPS has created a work-based learning experience in which students at Pikesville High School are able to work behind the scenes to repair some of the new computers. The student-run help desk program, working with these students, is really important. I see the importance in the fact that, again, that they take care of certain issues that can be alleviated before I come in and take care of major issues. So it helps out to allow me to have time and opportunity to take care of other schools. At first, uh, when I was a kid, I actually had some interest in computers, but the issue is I don't have like some, some like, kind of opportunity to like, keep going forward to it until I found this program, which gives me like, some kind of motivation to like, gain even further like, knowledge and insight from it. On like, the first time that Mr. Wilson told us to put a ticket in it, we, I was lost. I was just like, I, I don't think I could do it, but I learned and I got it now. Delaney High School is also one of the six schools giving students the opportunity to work with devices. Tech interns are taught how to troubleshoot devices and solve some of the basic issues that students or teachers may be experiencing. The student-run help desk is very important for Baltimore County. With the one-to-one -one implementation, we really need all the help that we can get in the schools, and the students have a skill set that really hadn't been tapped before we started this program. So we've kind of scaled up the program a little bit. The students can help the liaison, they can help any teachers in the building, and they're really learning about troubleshooting, um, and they're gonna have a resume when they graduate, not just a diploma. I think it's important because 
Um, it helps like, like the laptops help people who need a resource to be successful in school and the laptops really help them out. And I think like if we walk around and help out, it becomes easier for the teachers as well so that it doesn't disrupt the class whenever someone's laptop doesn't work. Th these students are really not just helping their, their fellow students, but they're helping the whole school. They're helping the teachers that have, that have problems with, they come in and something's not working. They, they, well, I just got a text a minute ago, and that was from a teacher asking for some, some help. And so these students are going to go and they're going to take care of that problem. They are, they are really a lifesaver because I can't be everywhere, but with a team of people, we're able to fix a lot of problems. Making a difference in a student's life is rewarding, and that's just part of the definition of being a teacher. Let's take a look at a program that is creating the next wave of teachers. Do you remember what your, the specific curriculum goal was that you were trying to meet for first grade? Nestled on the ground floor of Eastern Tech High School, there is a classroom with a program that is laying out the foundation for our future teachers. TAM is the Teacher Academy of Maryland program, and it's a CTE program that helps to prepare students to become teachers and gives them sort of a, a first step in terms of preparation towards what they'll need to be doing in college. I chose to go into the teaching program because I've had a lot of influential teachers in my life who made a really strong impact, and I wanted to be able to do the same thing for other students. I like that it's a very laid-back class that we sort of have the freedom to do whatever we want with our projects and who we get to work with so we always can sort of present comfortably in front of the class and not have any stress about it. So the program provides students with an overview of what it's like to be a teacher and the kinds of things that teachers need to know. Um, so they learn about child development theories, they learn about lesson planning, assessment, um, they develop a pre-professional portfolio that will uh, showcase all that they have learned and so everything that they've learned is stuff that will prepare them for success in college. The TAM program has been in place for 10 years at Eastern with about 50 percent of the students actually becoming teachers or working in related educational areas and many within BCPS. So in today's class we just finished learning about the Piaget cognitive development theory and in the past, I've always had the kids create a lesson plan, but I wanted them to do something a little bit more different and creative. And so I gave them the task of developing an educational game or a toy or activity that met a curriculum goal, but also involved the use of different um, mental operations from Piaget's theories. Our project, we got to pick a grade level and um, a subject. So my group picked um, grade three science. We <laughs> decided to create a sandbox where the students would discover fossils that we 3D printed in the makerspace. Um, so they would find them and then classify them to work on um, Piaget's theory of development in the classification section. I think it's important for BCPS to offer this program to students because we're in the midst of a teacher shortage and so we really do need more teachers. But I also think that um, it's a great opportunity for students to learn about teaching before they get to college because sometimes they never have the opportunity to get into the classroom until they're a senior in college and then they might decide they don't like it. So this gives them that opportunity way before then so they really sort of can develop their interest and determine if it's the right career. What I like about the TAM program is um, just the sense of belonging you have in this program because we are in the same class with each other for three years straight so you really become like a family and you have basically 20 sisters you can go to for anything. What a jump start to a meaningful career. Well, that does it for this edition of At BCPS In Depth. If you have any story ideas, comments, or suggestions, contact us at bcps-tv at bcps.org. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and with the BCPS Now mobile app. Until next time, I'm Jody Wicks. Thanks for watching.